Hey you, Tanika Maria with Get Real, Be Healed, back out again after a brief hiatus, coming out here just to share with you and to engage and hope that you are truly blessed. It has been mm, such a journey these last few months for myself personally, and I just wanted to share just a little brief wisdom to help you in your journey. And this in particular is for those of you who thought that by now you would have been a certain place. By now, this is for those of you who had that thought. By now, I should be here. By now, I should have been there. But instead, you find yourself in that same spot or situation. Number one, you may find yourself, you know, you thought, you know, by now, I would have been married. By now, I should have been at six figures. By now, I should have done this. By now, I should have done that. But instead, you may find yourself in that same situation. Or you may find yourself in even a worse spot. Or you could find yourself in a completely and totally different space than you ever would have thought or imagined. That's totally the opposite of what you prayed for and what you were believing for and what you were working for and what you were expecting. Come on. But let me tell you something, what I've been learning in my journey, what I've come to learn is that we have to really to, to really be ready for that new season. Like, God, I want my new season. I want my new, I want my now, I want my next then you are going to have to come to the place of acceptance. And I'm not talking about resignation, but I'm talking about real acceptance of where you are right now. This is not a place of like, I'm, oh, I'm just giving up and I'm just going to, um, no, I'm not talking about that kind of acceptance. I am talking about the acceptance where you're no longer sitting in resistance and you're no longer sitting in resentment. This is a place of releasing the resentment and the resentment of what is going on in your life. We don't renounce and denounce and stay in fantasy land of the facts of your current situation. This is where you are. Now, it's like I, we got to move from resisting it. We have to remove from resenting it. And then we got to get to the place where we can come to a place of acceptance because it's in that place of acceptance that you finally get the peace you need to open your mind to the possibilities of what God has next for you. But you can't do that until you get to a place of peace and you can't be in a place of peace as long as you're resisting and being resentful and, and suffering in that unforgiveness. Oh, I'm already in the spot, right? Come on. It's letting go of the resentment, letting go of the resistance and coming to a place a forgiveness of yourself because you did the best you could with the level of self-awareness and healing that you were at at that time. Whatever, wherever you were, all these different situations and all these different dynamics and whatever, whatever, you did the best you could. And the people that you were involved with, however they, whatever happened, it is what it is. And so, What's causing the suffering, the, the, the event, the situation, the conglomeration, the circumstances that you find yourself in right now, that thing, that's, it caused pain. It did cause you pain. But the suffering, the suffering is coming from your perspective about it. The suffering is coming, that emotional and mental anguish is coming from your own resistance and your own resentment. It is your perspective and it's the ruminating and staying in resistance and getting being mad and sad and stuck. That is what is causing the suffering. It's not what happened and what they did. It's in your mind that's causing the suffering. And that is what we need to let go of so that we can come to that place of acceptance. And so 
When you, it, this is for you. If you thought by now you should have been here and by now I should have been there and by now I should have done this and by now I should have done that. Number one, come to a place of acceptance of where you are now. And I'm not talking about giving up, but I'm talking about facing it and letting go of the resistance and letting go of the resentment because that's what's causing your suffering. I'm talking about finally getting to a point of making peace, making peace with your past, releasing the past. Remember, the past is dead. All you have right now is the present and the future. The past is dead, right? And you got to make peace with this and know that according to Romans 8, 28, all things, all things are working together for your good. And when I get to that place of peace, when you get to that place of peace, my brother, my sister, now you're open for what God has for you in terms of your new and your next. Now you can be open to the possibilities. Now you're open, but when you're in resentment and when you're in resistance, you're small, you're stuck and you're closed. But when I come to the place, okay, I can accept that this is what it was. And I'm not gonna sit here and be mad and sad and then blame and shame. I gotta let that go. Then, then and only then, can you get to that new place without all of the stories, without all of the struggling, without all of that rumination and what they did and all of this? So this is for you. If you thought that by now I would have been here and by now I would have been there, I encourage you to get to the point of getting to that place like, God, help me to accept what it is. If you just ended a relationship situation, if you just ended this or if you were in that and you thought that by now this and that and the other would have hurt occurred. This is what you need to do to get out of that place so that you can move forward. Again, I'm Tanika Maria. I'm all about helping high achieving women of faith get real, be healed, and move forward if from whatever situation you're in, whether or not it's a relationship, relational dynamic or not, in a place of wholeness, peace, clarity, where you're wholehearted, fruitful, flourishing, and focused in your next and in your new season. Come on, we want to be empowered. So definitely, I want you to click the link here that I have for those of you that are on the journey of healing so that you can stay connected with me, get on my VIP list. And for those of you who are in relationship transitions, I encourage you to go to Amazon and check out my Get Out of That Dead End Relationship book. And that will encourage you to help remove the residue and move forward forward out of a toxic relationship. And those of you that are women of faith that are going through ministry and business and just personal life transitions, I have a book for you, A Woman's Journey Home, 14 Keys to Ascending to the Next Dimension. Check that out on Amazon as well. You can get on my VIP list. So click the link. I look forward to coming back out here and talking to you soon. Take care and bye-bye.